G'day, Hester. Hi, Tom. Now, The Late Show with the D-Generation is your expert subject. Uh -huh. Was comedy better in the olden days? Um, yes. <laughs> or is it it's just, always good or on the it, ABC. Or is it just because it was the olden days? Good comedy is good comedy. It doesn't matter when it is. Funny okay. is funny. Who was your favourite in the original cast? Tony, Martin and Mick Malloy were oh. my favourites. No. Yeah. yeah. I, I said favourite, not... Uh, I can't, said two. can't separate. Out of those two, who's your favourite? Um, i go Tony Martin. All right. Well, they're not each other's favourite. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Now, you've had more than 100 jobs. <laughs> you've sold bongs and porn and you've also worked in childcare. Was this all at the same time? <laughs> or were they different jobs? They were. They yeah. were different jobs. I mean, that sounds interesting, but are you... are you unemployable? Um, no, I'm highly employable. I, okay. <laughs> I just, um... Lack commitment. Lack commitment. <laughs> <laughs> The Late Show ran for two seasons on the ABC, adding which acerbic stand-up comedian to its cast in 1993? Hester. Judith, Lucy. Correct. <laughs> in a running gag, cast members would sarcastically toast mediocre jokes with what celebratory drink? Hester. Champagne. Correct. <laughs> Rob Sitch's impersonation of cricketer Imran Khan was best known for what three-word catchphrase? Hester. Like a tiger. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> In another running joke, Mick Malloy repeatedly booked the wrong musical acts to close the show, confusing Joan Jett with which former Victorian Premier? Hester. Joan Kerner. Correct. <laughs> Last question in your set, Hester. Following The Late Show, some of the cast went on to make which current affairs parody? Hester. Part one. 